Hi everybody, Kenzie here, and today I'm going to be giving you my July favorites. Now hopefully this video gets up because I filmed a June favorites and I never uploaded it. I edited it and everything and it was ready to go and I never uploaded it. Sad but very true. So today I'm going to be giving you my favorites and now I just filmed this makeup look right now, minus lipstick color. This makeup look will hopefully be up on my channel soon or it's already up, but I'm hoping to get this video up before that one, so bear with me y'all. Alright, so I'm just going to um, pop right into my favorites. The first favorite that I'm going to mention is um, the favorite that I actually put on my lips and this is from Jeffree Star's um, Summer Collection. Um, this is Watermelon Soda. Now, I have all of the, the Summer Collection. I got every single one of them. And I'm, I am a true diehard Jeffree Star fan. I stand with him wholeheartedly and fully, totally love him. Um, his collection is not my favorite. Um, I really love all the colors, but on me, they're just not as stunning as I'd like them to be. I am going to be filming a video, hopefully soon, with the, uh, swatches of this. Um, hopefully I'll get that up very soon. But yeah, I, I can give you my thoughts and reviews more over there, but the watermelon soda is definitely my favorite out of the collection. I think it's amazing and wonderful. I think my big, biggest complaint with the collection is that it is not as pigmented as some of his stuff usually is. And I also think that it has to do with the scent that he added, but I could be very wrong. Um, as you can see, it's just not as opaque as usual. You can see it's a little bit thinner. Um, the color's still absolutely amazing and phenomenal and pigmented, but they're just not as pigmented as I've seen Jeffree have in the past. Now everybody knows I am a lover of eyelashes and I love wearing eyelashes and everybody says Duo is the worst glow on the entire planet and I totally agree because it takes 500 years for it to get tacky. So I ran out because I use my glue to the very last drop and I decided to pick up the Duo brush on adhesive in dark because usually if I'm wearing false lashes I am wearing um, eyeliner with them because I usually wear like a thicker false lash. So this is stuff is amazing. It looks like dark blue and when it starts to get tacky you can tell it dries a bit blacker. It gets tacky really really quickly and it sticks so nicely. I adore this stuff. It's amazing. It's a lot easier to just brush on it instead of like trying to you know squeeze a little bit out and hope to god that it doesn't squeeze everywhere all over the place. But hey you know better things have happened. The next favorite I have is a bronzer, which I have not been wearing, like, it's summer, so obviously I've been wearing bronzer, but I usually don't in the winter months because, you know, I'm very, very pale. So, um, this is a MAC bronzer that I actually got from my sister, whose boss, I think her boss gave it to her, and then Taylor gave it to me. You know, makeup happens that way. It's a Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder in Delphic. I said that right now. Um, and I think this is a limited edition one because it does have the Aztec print on it. Um, and it's just like, I don't really know if I can get a swatch of it. I can try. It's very, very light. And it's just, it's the perfect bronzer for me. It's very buildable though. Taylor's boss who gave it to her is also very dark because she's tan and beautiful and gorgeous. And it's not, it doesn't work for her. So it just works for me because I'm a little, I'm tan but I'm not like a bronze beauty, so... Um, I have been loving the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Pure. Um, I just feel like it really gets my face ready for my foundation, whether it is a liquid or a powder, because I do wear powder in the summer. Um, and I think that this is just something that is amazing. I picked this up in, like, May, I think, and, like, the formula is just really good. It's like a gel uh, kind of consistency. You can see it. It's kind of like a gel. And it just mattifies everything, and it gets my foundation a nice place to stick to and it just is like <sighs> love it um but it does last a good long time and you don't need a lot of this at all which is great so it goes a long way it is pricey but it's great so i'm going to talk about some palettes so the first one i'm going to talk about is the tarte amazon amazonian clay i'm also used to saying that the tarte uh gray bear girl palette um the swamp queen palette first off i love bunny she's one of the youtubers that i just i religiously religiously watch i mean she's just incredible she's got such versatility and she's just so great and i love the fact that she came out with a 
with something with a tart which is a brand she's loved and raved about for years and years and years and years and years so I'm just so proud of her that she made it with tart this palette is absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love this palette I'm sure if you're getting like some reflect off of it because it's very shiny um first off it smells really good and just it's amazing my favorite thing out of this entire palette is probably the highlighter we're just gonna talk about that for a second it is so pigmented look at that that is so pigmented like I mean you can you can blend it out but the first the, the question is do you want to and I know it's limited edition so if you you can't get a hold of it I'm terribly sorry I got this by chance I was walking in Alton it was the day it was released I was like <gasps> so I got it so Bonnie you did amazing and I know you're never gonna see this video but Bonnie this this is such an amazing palette and you should be very proud because I'm proud of you and I love you if you do see this but you probably won't <laughs> um so this month I decided to dip my feet into a new brand and that brand is Morphe and I decided I wanted to get like the classic like 35O palettes but they were sold out so I'm waiting to get them this is the Morphe 35C palette and as you can tell it is the most gorgeous palette. Look at all the colors. Look at all the colors. Look at all the colors. They're so beautiful. This row creates the most amazing, gorgeous, peachy look. Like, this is what I wanted from the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette were these colors right here, and I just didn't get it. And, I mean, it's really pigmented. It's not chalky at all. I'm just going to, like, swatch a million different ones that I haven't swatched yet. Like, look at those. They're beautiful. I am dying to get some more of their palettes and definitely some of their brushes as well. But their palettes are very hard to find. But the best part about it is that they're really, really, really affordable. And they're a great makeup brand. For this palette right here, this is $19.99. And that is just such a steal to me. For the amount of colors you get, for the quality you get, it's just incredible. So if, you do, if you've been wondering or if you've been thinking about getting a Morphe palette, go get a Morphe palette. They're great. Everybody on the sun, moon, and stars has been talking about this. And this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I have used mine quite a bit. As you can see, there's a big dip in it. But I've had this for like three months, and this is all that I use. And I use this to take off like full faces of makeup that you see me wearing today. Um, me and my sister were in the cities this week, and she was using it of mine because she absolutely loves it. And it is just so good. It makes your skin feel great. You can see how much makeup you're getting off. You can you can feel a difference in, like, you don't have to scrub at your face with, like, a makeup wipe. Like, oh, I'm going to scrub my eyeballs to try and get this off. But, like, you don't have to. It's so amazing. So you just take a little glob of it, literally like a little glob, and you motion your fingers together um, to make it into kind of like an oil. It goes from kind of like a... Can, it's kind of like coconut oil, and then it just mushing your fingers makes it all warm, and then you just bleh, and it takes your makeup off. All right, so this month I have a wah, wah, I wish I didn't buy it. So this is the Too Faced Totally Cute palette. I put the sticker on here because it comes with this, I think. So this is the Too Faced Too Cute palette, which I was really excited about it. Um. It's got some cute colors in it, but um, I was trying. I was playing with it the other day, and the colors just I haven't I haven't used the pink, which it's pretty, and like the green, it's pretty, and like they're pretty colors, but like are they that unique or amazing? I don't think so. Uh, the quality of the shadows is very it's very much so Too Faced quality, but they're just I think the best part about this palette is probably the shimmer shades which is kind of depressing because like I don't know I don't know I just wish I didn't buy it it's not my favorite thing I don't ever use it I used it one time and the one time I used it I ended up putting on their makeup on top of it because I just wasn't that impressed with it it's expensive it's $35 for this little thing um, and you only get you know nine shadows is it worth my money no I would have rather spent it on something else I think it's cute and I think it's a good idea and I like like the peanut butter and jelly palette I love that um but this is just not my favorite. Um, I wish I would have spent my money elsewhere. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't love Too Faced because I still do love Too Faced. It's just 
not my favorite from YouTube face so that was my July favorites um, and if you guys have any favorites that you've been loving or things that you haven't been loving let me know um, make sure you guys uh, check out all my social media links my, I just put my snapchat down there so if you want to see a day into my life or see makeup updates and like weird stuff like that just uh, go and check it out um, it is all down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and do all the kind of fun stuff. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye.